Welcome to Automotive Engineers Corner. Today, in this video, we will talk about the process flowchart. <clears throat> I will show you two flowcharts. One will be for the business process and the other will be for the production process. I will show you the difference. Here we will have the business process flowchart and here up we will have the production process flowchart you will see the difference so Let's see uh, first the production process. We are in the automotive factory, so let the process be wheel production, alloy wheel production, alloy wheel production. So As you know, an, an alloy wheel for the car will be like this. We'll have it's it's of course casted from uh, an alloy of aluminium. It will it will have uh, some machined parts and it will be painted, for example, black. It will be machine. It needs to be machined to have the correct shape. And it needs to be painted to have a nice uh, to have a nice um, shape and to have a nice color. So this will be the wheel, whatever is the shape. So the production process, as you remember from the process definition, it it has it needs to have a start. We we'll don't we will not say here about the input or output. We will just uh, say about talk about start and end of the production process, and then let's have three elements, three basic steps of the process. I will name them. I will number them, of course. Let's have a numbers: ten, twenty, and thirty. It goes like this, so it's in a sequence. It's a very simple uh, description of the process. And the first operation in this production process will be casting. The second operation in this process will be machining. So turning, drilling and so on. And the third one, number 30, 30, will be painting. Now, why I did put uh, 10, 20 and 30 and not uh, 1, 2, 3? Huh, because in such a process definition, it uh, is common that you need to put another additional um, step in between the steps that you already have and then not to make it too uh, messy you just leave a space if you have 20 and 30 if you forget about something or need to add additional process step then you can easily put a number 21 assembly of screws because you just reminded yourself that you need to assemble some screws Therefore, you number it the operation 20 and 30, and then you can put fit inside, for example, uh, operation 21. You can, of course, use another notation. You can have 100, 200, 300. Then you can put, you, have, you leave space to uh, put here 100 operations. Okay, so these are the basic steps of the production process. 
Let's see what happens in the machining process. It will be the sub process of the machining because we need to um, we need to define the process in the complete depth to each single operation. So here I will um, put similar notation. So 20.10 in this structure. So in this case for the machining process I will um, prepare already several operations. 20, 20, 20, 30, 20, 40, 20, 50. Start, end will be there. Sequence like this. And let's put here the names of the operations. Just very simple examples. Prepare part install in the nest of the CNC machine run CNC program after the program take out the part and clean And I will put here pass to next operation. Now this is the process description. Now for each step of the process, you will have a process, uh, you will have an instruction. So for example, for the installing the nest, for this one, you will have a document hanging somewhere at the machine or uh, hanging somewhere in the, um, in the visualization system and it will describe 2020 install in nest and here you will have operation number one operation number two and so on so here you will have concrete operations for the operator to do something and to check something. So this will be work and control instructions. These documents. And this, let's go now backwards. You will have an operator's instruction, which is the part of the production process, which is the concrete process of machining. Let's put here machining. And this machining process is the small part of the production process. And this production process is one of the parts of the business process. Let's check the business process now. The business process flowchart for alloy wheel production in our company. This will include many departments. Here we had, we had only production department which was doing this process. Now we go a little bit further. We check the helicopter view of the company and here we have several, several departments. Let's say it will be a design department This will be the production department. Yes. 
this will be the quality department. Let's put it nicely. And the last one, logistics. So these departments here will build us a process. Here we will put into this box, we will put the business process of the alloy wheel production. So let's start somewhere here and our start will be prepare the design. Prepare drawing. The design uh, department will prepare the drawing. Prepare drawing. Then the design department needs to pass the drawing, the production drawing, for example. It's not uh, the design stage, it's already the complete drawing. I will put here assembly drawing. <clears throat> and this uh, design department passes it into the production phase and the production needs to produce it. And this produce is this part. Produce the wheel. After the producing, they need to pass it to the control of the quality. So here, let's put check product. Check the product. And this will be the role of quality department. Now the quality department needs to take a decision. Is the product okay or not? If not, if not, it needs to go to a box which will be reworked. And this rework will be again at the responsibility of the production department. And then from rework, they need to come they need to send these products again to check the product at the quality department and they again need to check and make the decision is it okay or not. If no, we can say there will be a scrap but uh, we don't get so into the, deep, into the depth. If the quality is okay of the product, they can pass it to the logistics. Yes. The product is okay, and the, pro pro the and the logistics can pack and ship it. Pack the product and ship out. And this will be the end of our process. What I will um, what I will add here. That the logistics department is, for example, responsible to prepare the components, to supply the components, supply components, and then quality will be responsible to check the components. And they will feed again the production department that they need to produce the parts. So as you see, this is the difference between a, between a production process and a business process. Look at this picture. Think a bit. 
and we will continue into in our next videos to make it more clear and to check other definitions and other interesting things about automotive processes. See you next time!